What's up, YouTubers? Let's look at the items we'll be needing for this service. First is the HCF2 transmission fluid. Try to use the OEM stuff because some of the aftermarket stuff might not be to spec and you want to take care of your transmission as long as possible. First, we have a 3 8 inch ratchet. We're going to use this to crack open the nut for the transmission housing. Then we're going to have a flathead and a Phillips screwdriver, a long funnel, some gloves, and a good amount of towels. We're going to want to use some cardboard and some, some sort of rags to help with the spill, to catch the spill, and then of course an oil pan. And you want to use jack stands, or in this case I like to use race ramps, um, either or, but if you use ramps, make sure to do it safely, apply the chalk, and put the parking brake as well. Step one is to remove this protective metal cover. There are a total of six screws. There are four flathead and two Phillips in the back. And to remove it, just slide it straight back towards the trunk and it should unfasten in the back. There are two latches. If you push towards the trunk, it will release those from those latches. And here's a look at the flatheads. Here's a look at the Phillips. And here I am removing the transmission plug. It's pretty dirty. It doesn't have the yellow label for some reason. So this is a certified car. So I don't know if they removed it when they inspected it. But let's have a closer look. And you can see the opening there. I think the 2 liter turbo model has it a bit more tucked in the back, but it's relatively in the same area. Make sure to give yourself space for when it shoots out so it doesn't overshoot your pan. And while it's draining, this is a great time to clean your transmission plug. I'm using just a rag and some water. You don't want to use any soap, soaps or chemicals because it could dry the rubber and that could lead to leaks and uh, maybe performance issues as well. And here's a look at the transmission fill plug. And this thing has a magnet on the end, so now's a good time to inspect it for any shards or metal filaments. If you get these metal filaments, that is an indicator that your transmission is wearing and you might want to get that checked out immediately because that could lead to even worse damage. So here it's good, it's just sludge and that's what you want. We're going to remove the crush washer. And we're gonna apply a new crush washer. This is an 18 millimeter size. And you wanna put the soft material that faces the, the pan. And I'm just hand tightening here. Just make sure not to overdo it. You can crack the housing. And then just clean up excess oil because that'll burn as your car heats up when you drive. Make sure to clean the top of the housing for the transmission as well. And there it is clean, you'll get a more secure fit. I'm going to be using a total of 3.8 quarts today. It is recommended in the manual to use 3.7. However, I've done this a few times on my other Accord as well. And uh, I'm seeing that it's topping off it's filling at a around a 3.8 interval so you guys can use the check plug method which is which i have not shown here but for me 3.8 works well
And a good way to see 3.8 quarts is you want to have around 6 ounces left on your fourth bottle. Let's add our transmission plug back in. Make sure this is nice and secured in, don't rush it because if you have it fall off on the road that could lead to permanent damage with debris and water going into your transmission. Now we want to reattach the protective cover and for this cover you want to start with on the back latches you want to start with those and you're going to fasten it and push it forward towards the front bumper and there's another latch here this black plastic then you'll add your four flatheads and your two Phillips. And I had several services due on this car, so I'm resetting it for my engine oil and my transmission fluid as well. And we want to cycle through the gears around three to five seconds per gear up and down. It looks a bit accelerated here because I fast forwarded the video, but you want to make sure that you can hear that you could hear and feel the gears engaging. And I'm going to show you two methods on how to reset your maintenance. This goes for all other maintenance indicators. So you can do it through your steering wheel. You scroll down to maintenance or you can go to settings, vehicle, then you scroll up to maintenance info and you'll select the reset button for whatever indicator you have. Hope you guys enjoyed, like and subscribe.